to give uh, Harvard Tech a lot of credit. Um, this is their first regional championship in school history. So I know they have a lot of pride. Um, you know, it's got to be a lot of excitement in their program and school to make it down here for the first time. Their fan base showed up very well. Uh, so give them a lot of credit to start out with. Uh, they came out. Um, didn't really rattle us, but it was, you know, kind of maybe get the butterflies out. And then once we kind of settled in a little bit, I thought we played a little bit more of our basketball. Um, really overall, I think we played maybe a D up, a D, a D. If I had a greatest night, maybe a D. Um, it's not. It's not the games I've, we've seen the last couple of months. Uh, so hopefully we'll play them a lot better tomorrow. Well, I know you have experience being here, but you've got a whole new cast of guys. What would you tell them about coming here and playing? This well, I mean, it's the same thing. You're going to have referees on the court. You're going to have another team, uh, different color uniforms that can only put five guys out there. There's going to be a basketball, and there's some people watching you play. I mean, this is not rocket science. So, I mean, we just got to go out there and play basketball. And that's what we told them. So a lot of these guys played a lot of AAU basketball uh, in big arenas. Um, so that, that's what we told him. Uh, Chris Adams has been down here three times. He shared some uh, things with him about his experiences about butterflies the first time. So Chris, you want to add to what you have? Um, yeah, I just let him know that uh, this is this is big lights and that we had to come up and start good, but that's not really what we did. But I knew it was going to be natural. The butterflies was natural. Mm -hmm. But after the first quarter, we started getting to a groove going into the second half, and then we just started playing Patterson basketball. Coach, besides the butterflies, what kind of challenges, you know, in Hopper Tech, for your team? Uh, well, I was surprised. Uh, Darius, I mean, Darius Danesville a great player. Uh, you know, I guess their leading score over 1,700 points, I think I saw somewhere. Um, you know, he was a hard cover. Um, you know, I was surprised uh, by the way he handled our guards. Uh, you know, I mean, he, he took it to our guards. I think, what, he ended up 26. Yeah. Shot pretty well, 7 for 16. Um, Usually those guards, and he played 31 minutes, so you got to give him a lot of credit. Uh, usually in the second half, you'll see a, a worse or a worse uh, shooting percentage, but he continued that pace off you know, the whole game. Uh, we tried some things on man to man, uh, triangle and two, uh, diamond and one. So we threw out a lot of different things. Uh, 12 hit some big shots from Dominic Webb, hit a couple threes. Uh, but if you look, you know, I mean, look at the other percentages, we did pretty well besides uh, Dangerfield. They end up shooting 15 of 54. Uh, 28%. So we're happy on that, on that level, the energy we, we, we brought. Um, I didn't think we executed too well on the offensive end, though. Harry, talk just a little bit about how your team can wear an opponent down. And that was apparent uh, today in the second half, particularly in the fourth quarter. Well, and that's what, you know, I could see starting uh, late in the second quarter that it was starting to take its toll on some of the uh, Harper Tech players. And we've been that all year. Uh, we, we run our conditioning uh, basically every day in practice, what we call 32 minutes of hell of conditioning. So we have a full practice, and then we have 32 minutes of conditioning uh, that goes through intense stuff, whether it's before a game or after a game or whatever. Um, so I think we're, we're one of the top, if not the top, conditioned team in the state of Maryland. Uh, and I tell the guys, if they want to play at a fast pace, we got to be in uh, great condition. And I think you saw it again, especially with their shooting percentage, 28%. Uh, if you take away Dangerfield, uh, it's probably you know 20% or in the teens. Marvin, can you get a sense of that? Did you get a sense of that uh, in the second in the second half? Them those guys kind of wearing down and taking advantage of that. Uh, yeah, in the first half, it's like they were right with us, but we just pulled away in the second half and we just kept playing hard. What What do you think was the difference? Um, more physical and just getting up and down. Marvin, twenty four and twelve, a couple of big and ones in the fourth quarter there. Talk about what it's been like your first year at Patterson after playing the WCAC last year. Just what's it like playing Baltimore City basketball? Uh, it's been good. They're both challenging. I just had to learn how to adjust with my team and just gel with them. What about the expanded role? I know last year you didn't get a lot of time, but this year you're, you know, one of the big dogs. You're asked to carry carry a big load. Talk about that role in the team. Um, it was a lot, but I just had to stand up to it because. If we win or lose, then it's always going to look back on me and how I played. Sure, I talk about your performance and just running the offense and what you guys were able to do in the second half, like like uh, the stats say, you guys sort of uh, pose your will on the heart attack, especially in the uh, third and fourth quarter. I played good, but I think I could have played better. And I pushed my team to play better defense. And in the second quarter, we had to push the momentum. We had to pressure, we had to pressure uh, Darius. Dangerfield, right? Mm -hmm. You had to pressure him more and stop him from getting the ball. Anything that they did that surprised you guys from what you saw from the 
Yeah, they uh came out hot. It was hot, like came out. They had their crowd behind them. They was real fired up, so they came out and hit some early big shots and got their momentum going. That's what surprised me. How do you guys just combat, you know, that, that type of fiery you know, energy and just the passion that Hartford Tech had in the first half? Um, I think it comes with, like Coach said, these guys, they played in some big AAU like tournaments and on the circuit and stuff, and I've been down here a couple times, so it's all like, I think we had more experience, if you want to say that. They came out fiery and, and all that, but I think at, at that time we just settled it down and just started playing basketball. Coach, with a short turnaround, um, how do you, you know, install install a game plan and you know get ready for tomorrow's tomorrow's wear on such short notice? I know you've done it before, right. but you know maybe these guys haven't been able to learn a game plan in a short period like that. Well, you already had the the four teams, the three other teams. You already have a game plan in mind. So I've watched a ton of games on all three teams. So you have a game plan in your mind. So we'll, we'll be ready to go. Uh, you know, hopefully our guys. Well, uh, Mungo, I mean, we're looking. We got five turnovers. Price got seventy. Almost had a triple double, right? Twenty-four, twelve, and seven. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, we got to we got to protect the ball. I mean, that's I mean, that's it's really about what can we do. <laughs> he had twenty-four and twelve, but he had seven turnovers. So he really enjoyed passing the ball to the other team tonight. So we we have to protect the ball, but we'll we'll be prepared. I mean, we've seen tape on Century. We've seen plenty of tape on Central. Um, it, you know, I mean, both of them presents different matchups. Um, you know, Century will be kind of like, probably like Quince Orchard last night with possession, uh, slowing things down a little bit. Uh, PG County, uh, Central will play up and down like us. You guys went to a triangle and two there for a while? Triangle two on, uh, on three and 12. You talk about that. Is this that's something you've been doing a lot this year? No, uh, uh, you know, you, we, we look at different matchups. And, you know, I didn't think the other three guys they had on the court could really hurt us too much. I knew the three and 12, if we could stop them, then we would be in, in good shape. I mean, it's, it's, it's I mean, give it, the other three in the triangle have to really understand what's going on yeah. and really watch out for the other three. So you're kind of playing a zone with those three, uh, giving up some things, but really knowing where three is with penetration, helping and getting all the way out on 12. Because, you know, you saw that one three hit must have been from like 35 feet. How's this trip to the state? Final four different than the previous four for you, Harry? Well, probably just, uh, you know, I told you guys at the beginning of the year, you know, I was, uh, especially at the Budwood and we took against St. Francis, you know, I mean, you're questioning things like what's going on. Um, you know, we're very young. Uh, a lot of our players are sophomores. And we've got one freshman on the team. So it's really, at that point, I'm sitting there, you know, what team are we? You know, we upset Perry Hall in the uh, holiday tournament. Then we knock off Lake, knock off some other teams. Um, you know, teams that are down here, Perry Hall, we beat in Potomac, we beat in, we beat in Poly, we beat in Edmondson. So there's teams that are still playing that we beat. In. As the season went on, my confidence grew and the consistency was there where I could trust that we're going to get a max effort. And I think if we play with the energy, we'll at least give ourselves a, a, a chance. And then, then it really just depends on what, who makes the shots at them. How about the quality minutes you got from Harrison Brown tonight? He's big, uh, you know, I mean, senior, a guy that we can rotate in and out. Uh, he knows his roles to uh, play defense, knock down a three from time to time. He hit that corner three for us. Um, he does some dumb things. And, you know, he, I mean, he's just overly aggressive, you know, fouling. I mean, we, we up, you know, we up. There's no reason to be overly aggressive. So, I mean, for those are, you know, he's a role player. So you expect those things, you know, I mean, trying not to stop it too much because you want the energy flowing a certain way. But, uh, you know, he gave us great minutes. Um, Darian Pitts uh, usually gives us uh, pretty minutes, pretty good minutes. So right now we're probably playing about uh, seven deep. One more question, gentlemen. Well, anybody can answer. I mean, just talk about you know, 24 hours ago, as we playing for a state championship. Um, I feel like this win was good, but after we leave here, we gotta lock in for tomorrow and get ready for tomorrow. But I feel good about this game.